Let's dive right into the first website. So the first website is for Veza Digital. And before I'm going to scroll through this portfolio, I just want you to note how many great things are actually happening in this portfolio. So we've got this cool 3D element, but the type itself is animating and the icons, custom icons that we have here are animating. So a lot of cool things. They're also coming up with this dictionary concept here that's they're they're making a term out of their studio. We challenge the status quo. They also have these clocks right here, making it look international. What are the times in different parts of the world? So already tells me exactly what they're doing. Their design agency, strategy, creativity, design, it already sells a lot through this hero section. Also, we have this very impressive navigation that we have here. And one more thing that I like about this, and I don't know if you can hear it, but there's subtle sound effects when you're hovering over it. So it makes it feel a little bit more tactile. Now, as I'm scrolling through this immediately, I'm getting a full screen video, which I love for portfolios because I think videos sell so much. So you can just watch it without even playing or you can click to play it, which is great. Then we've got this social proof where you can see all the logos of who they worked with. And there's so many great things that are going through this portfolio and I wanna mention them because there's really some good things here. Number one, there's a very consistent and very cool layout with the round corners. And we'll actually see this as a theme as we're checking out these different websites. This one uses the cast custom icons that they have here as a visual language and also these kind of like gradients changing colors. And together, these three elements that they're having here, this layout with round corners, kind of like boxes with round corners, colorful gradient, and their custom iconography that is animating just makes this a super, superly nice designed website. I really, really love this. Congrats, Veza, beautifully designed website. Looks like an amazing agency. Let's move into the next website. So the next portfolio is for Rocket Air, digital experience that win by design. They're splitting the screen, which I love because it lets you focus on, you know, first, what are they doing, the typography, and then it's teasing you with another video, as I've mentioned. See how videos tease you to scroll, shows you immediately their work. You don't have to wait for it. You don't have to click. Portfolio, see the work, immediately sells it with video. That always works. And then I'm also a sucker for big responsive typography, so that it's always working for me. Now, the really cool thing that I like here is this section that basically tells their services, right? So a lot of times you would see kind of like standard three columns we're doing, here are our services. But here they've basically created four different columns. And when you hover, you get basically an animation that demos this service in a video on the right side. And I think this is such a creative use of space and breaking out of the mold of just like classic three columns. So this is a really, really fantastic design and partners. Now in this part, there's a carousel of, I guess, testimonials. Now I'm not a big fan of, you know, having to scroll to see testimonials, but when you're doing this, at least they're putting in this kind of like, they're replacing my mouse with this drag thing that at least tells me that I need to drag. So that's clever and I like this. Um, we can see the work. Now we're kind of like scrolling over it, which is a great experience. Also the fact that the work, the word work is stuck behind and the works are flowing on top of it kind of adds depth and feeling of kind of like 3D space when you're checking out the website. So this is really, really great. And a footer that is also not a classical footer. It gives you all the link right here with a nice animation interaction right here, um, but also gives you a call to action to sign up for their newsletter in a non-traditional layout. So really, really great design on this Rocked Air Webflow agency. By the way, if you wanna learn how to build websites like this with Webflow, check out our Webflow Masterclass because you'll learn how to master Webflow and build stuff like this. With that said, let's move into the next website, which is Omiyachi. So this is a design duo. It's very, very minimalistic, but there's a lot of things that I like here. First of all, they're showing a nice image that shows who they are. Again, minimalistic, but shows the vibe. I always love these things. Now, here they're coming up with a creative, non-traditional grid layout, kind of re resembles of the bento tread that we have right now. And there's two cool things that happen. One, when you're hovering on top of the work, immediately gives you kind of like a video that shows more of that work. Again, 
one thing that we're seeing over and over again is how using video to show more of the work is really making the portfolios impressive. One more thing that I want you to note is how I'm hovering on top of this and the corners become more round, which is an interaction that I really like. So the layout is non-traditional. We're seeing a lot of round corners, right? This is, I guess, pretty trendy right now, but this interaction of making them even rounder, um, I really like this. So this is a great way to show their work. Now here's, you know, we talked about in the ERP, previous website about doing the three columns of our, here are our services, brand, web design, web development. So this is a more classical layout, but what they did here is instead of focusing on text, which is a lot of people do, they write paragraph, they basically created three nice animation that helps to convey what happens in each one of these services. I like this, the same there, the, each one of them works well together, same color palette, nice animation, nice clean animation. So I really, really like how they demonstrated this. And then an index of their work. So this is so powerful. First of all, you get to see all of their work just by scrolling over here very, very fast and you can be impressed. Next, they're showing you recognition or we're winning so many awards. And also they're allowing you to click to view the actual sites, which is to me so much better than a case study check out the real work, the proof, I guess the proof is in the pudding, as they say, just check it out. There are some case studies, I guess, but uh, some of them you can open up the whole website. So this is this, now they're talking about the fact that they are a Webflow partner agency, again, with nice animations, so helpful uh, to use animations in a great way to to tell the story and they're doing this fantastically here. Also talking about all the integration that they're uh, doing for their Webflow website. I think this is also pretty impressive. And another non-traditional way for testimonials. So we've seen, we all know how testimonials look like. They created a completely different layout where you can see the logos on the left and then focus on the work and the testimonial. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful layout for doing testimonials. Again, out of the box thinking, and it's just, it looks fantastic. Ending with another professional photo. I love this, I love this. This is, I don't know if it's more work. Yeah, I guess it's more work. I thought it's personal stuff, but I guess it's even more work at the footer. Super impressive. I love this website. Next website is Eclipse. And this is another agency. And what I love about this website is that they came up with a creative concept. So their name is Eclipse and they're showing this again in a video, kind of like what happens when the sun is behind, uh, you know, getting an eclipse. Again, rectangular with round corners. As you can see, this is so trendy right now. But what I love about this is they took the concept of the eclipse and they're showing basically the phases of, I guess, the sun being hidden. And after all, each one of these icons of the eclipse is actually a different service that they're providing. So they basically created, again, custom iconography that tells the story that they want to tell here. They're using the same creative element um, as they've done before. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful way, again, instead of just having a list of services or a few columns, they've found a creative way to present everything that they're doing. This part where they're a little bit showing their work, I haven't seen much of the work yet, but I love this because it feels Netflixy in a way, right? The the work kind of like scrolls slowly on a black background. There's big, nice typography. So this is really impressive. Puts you in the Netflix mode. Now, I would love to see more work. I'm gonna, actually gonna click on the portfolio itself. A nice page transition. And although we're not seeing it on the homepage, there's a very, very easy way to scroll through the work, again, with tags on what they did on each project. You can click on each of them to see the website itself, which is great. And you can basically just scroll through them. Pretty minimalistic, but I love it. And I think they did a great work. The last website that we have is actually for a portfolio of a photographer, Gilia Gardner. And what I love about this, again, we have the round corners, but what I love about this is that First, there's nice interaction. Now we've seen this layout. I don't know if you've seen it around the web. It's pretty trendy right now where people break text with images inside. And a lot of the time they're just doing it as a trend. But I think in this website, because she's a photographer and it just feels, and the whole website feels like you're you're on, you know, on some kind of a desk and she's throwing the photos and it feels tactile. It feels like the, you know, nothing is straight, right? There's this, the, the photos are being thrown in this angle and you're, you know, as you're 
uh, scrolling here, they're moving. And I love this because it feels really like how a photographer, um, if you would visit them, they would show you actual photos that are not digital, they're actually physical. Uh, let's actually go inside and see a case study for our photography. And we get more of that sense, right? So as we're scrolling through this, we get this kind of like navigation and the photos overlap one another. So again, a very, very creative use of, there's no set grid and structure here. It feels much more handmade in a way. And it's just beautiful. And I think it's, it's a perfect fit for a photographer who's doing actual photography. So you feel like these are physical, um, yeah, physical photos. And I think this is a really, really great um, subtle use of animations, interactions, but also the layout itself is just beautiful. All right, I hope you've been inspired not only to do round corners inside of boxes in your design portfolio, but how many creative and out of the box ideas you have when you're creating your portfolio and when you're doing it with Webflow, creativity is basically boundless. I hope to see you on the next video or in one of our courses. I'll see you next time, peace.